Hi, my name is Chintan and today I'll be giving a quick demo on Tenable Data Stream. This service allows us to stream data directly from our Tenable Data platform to the customer's S3 bucket. And in this video, we'll be walking through the steps on how to configure it successfully. So first we're gonna navigate to Tenable VM and go to settings, find the Tenable Data Stream under integrations and create a new integration. Uh, this wizard is gonna guide us through this configuration steps. First, we'll add a name. We can also add an email. On step number two, we'll be configuring an IAM role, so it'll be, have to ha it'll be good to have the AWS console handy. We'll navigate to IAM. And we're gonna be filling in the account details, IAM role, and external ID. We have two ways to configure this. One is by either using a, creating a new role or by using an existing role. We're gonna go ahead and use the option one, which is creating a new role with a custom trust policy. So first we're gonna fill in our details, the account ID. We're gonna give the name to our role. And then we'll provide a unique external ID to ensure that all the Zoom role calls are secured. And once we have filled this in, we're gonna be, the new trust policy is gonna be generated, which we will use to create the role. We can navigate to our IAM roles and create a role with a custom trust policy drop the policy in there. Next, in step two, we're asked for permissions. We're not gonna configure any permissions just yet. So we can leave this empty. And then in step three, we're asked for the role. So we'll give it the same role name that we have inputted. Validate everything's in place and then create the role. So we're gonna ensure that the role is created successfully and then navigate to VM Click next, you can see that the role validation is successful. Now we're on step number three and we're gonna configure the S3 bucket. So we'll navigate to S3 console on AWS to help us with that. Again, over here we have two options. We can use an existing bucket or create a new bucket. We're gonna opt for creating a new bucket in this case. So we're gonna give it a name and we're gonna add a path prefix if you don't want to use the directory. If you don't provide this, this is optional, um, it will write to the root directory. So we're going to go and create the bucket. In this case, we're going to be using the same name that we have provided. And we'll leave everything to default, blocking all public access, because we'll be configuring the bucket policy once it's created. We can see that our bucket is ready and we have generated our bucket policy. So we can copy the bucket policy that is generated for us and drop it into permissions and then bucket policy over here and save. So once this is ready, our bucket is live and configured, and we're gonna validate and save. So we can see that the integration was configured successfully. We can validate this on the bucket as well because once the integration is saved, it will attempt to write a test file. So we'll go to our objects, refresh. We can already see that a path exists and a test file is written to this bucket. So this ensures that the TDS is configured successfully. Thank you.